Yo, what's up y'all? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the importance of a good location. I'm actually gonna show you all one of my locations um, that's on the north side of town here in Atlanta, Georgia, Remedy Salon Suites North. So uh, we are actually right here at 7855 Roswell Road. Um, so the reason why I chose this location several different reasons so number one one of the things that i always talk about is that you need to have a good amount of parking um, for your salon suite so um, if we look around here we've got probably about uh, maybe about 25 parking spaces here in the front um, and then we actually have 15 parking spaces in the back as well um, this actual strip right here uh, some of our neighbors is this hookah bar um, and they don't open up until five o'clock every day so the majority of this parking is normally for us now there are um, they are in the process of renovating they've actually um, extended their business to the second unit um, so they've got just a little bit of renovation going on so there's a few trucks and things of that nature over here that generally would not be um, and then we've got a hair salon that's actually right down here. One of the other good things about this location is that it's right off of a main road. So Roswell Road is a, a main road here in Sandy Springs. So um, definitely another reason why this location was chose. Um, so of course the parking, um, it's right off of a main road. Um, it's in a strip where there are some other things going on as well. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at inside and see what we actually did with the location so if you guys have been watching my youtube for a while i actually showed you guys the process of when i was building this location out last year we celebrated our one year anniversary so we got started in 2020. Um, it took us about six months to do this location generally should only take you three months to get open but it took us a little bit longer with doing this during COVID, um, with some of the delays with shipping and um, different workers you know being out due to catching COVID and things of that nature right so when you first come in uh, we've got this area which is um, you know, kind of like our receptionist area. Now, one of the things that I am going to do differently um, and that I will be changing is this right here could literally be two more suites. Um, so when you have your suites, you really don't need a big receptionist area because everybody that is coming to visit your tenants, they're going right into their suite. So. Uh, this right here is pretty much all that you really need um, and then just a desk for you know if you're gonna have a receptionist or somebody that's going to um, kind of man your suites during the day but um, these are our makeup stations right here but like I said like literally um, this could be two more suites as well then in here I want to talk to you really quick about how it is that you can make money with your salon suites and one of the most important things is to make sure that you have a good architect and a good contractor because it's really important to make sure that your suites are divided out in a way where you can number one get as many suites as possible i've helped so many different people open up their salon suites and when they first get going they've got a lot of unoccupied space it's like look you don't need a break room these are tenants they're coming in doing what they got to do and then they're going home so you want to make sure that you use this much of your real estate as possible and break that down into suites and one of the things that we offer as a bonus with our salon suite master course is a list of the size and the prices of our salon suites so we make it completely easy for you so go ahead and head on over to salonsuitemastercourse.com make sure you sign up for that course and get the bonuses included as well we've got our barber room we've actually have two barbers right now that are working um, out of this room um, but once their leases are up i'm actually going to be turning this into suites as well so this location as well as in downtown um, every time i try to do like an open space like this and try to do the booths never works guys just stick to the suites i'm telling you <laughs> all right um, another thing that i like about this location is the big window. So it's always good to have that nice, good, natural sunlight coming in as well, all right? So let's go ahead and walk on down the hall. So this one is the only location that I have where it's just like a long hallway with suites on each side. Um, so you guys have seen my downtown location. You guys have also seen my location on the south side. And so this one is the only one that has 
kind of these rooms down the side. So this was um, somewhat of a second generation location. Um, there used to be a spa that was in here <clears throat> and it already had these rooms. Now, some were a little bit bigger than I wanted them to be. Some were a little bit smaller. And so we may have knocked down some walls and some little different things of that nature, but we really didn't have to do too much. Um, we were able to keep this flooring, um, which really, really helped us. And one of the things that I speak about is that flooring um, will really, really cost you, especially if you have a big space. So if you can get something that already has a floor that you like in there, that's really gonna save you a lot of money. So we actually have 14 suites in here. Then we've got the two makeup stations and the four um, barber chairs. As you guys see, we've got suites on each side of the hallway. Now, let me actually show you guys something in the back. Right here in the back area, so as I was sucking to you guys, you've got um, suites where you can either put the, the wash bowls and the dryers actually inside of the suites, or you can kind of have this communal area like we have back here. Now, if you're gonna do that, so like for example, you see how we have this backdrop, this backsplash. This helps to save our walls from getting water damage, all right? A question that I'm always asked when it comes to any business I've opened, not just my salon suites, but my restaurants or any other brick and mortar is, how much does it cost to do this? <laughs> The cost is truly going to depend on your location, on your architect, on your contractor. Contractors charge different prices. And so what your contractor charges you is going to highly deviate exactly how much you're gonna spend getting open. So you wanna pick a location where you don't have to go in and completely renovate it. Secondly, you want to put several wash bowls and dryers in one room so that you don't have to run all of the plumbing to the individual rooms. You don't need a wash bowl and a dryer in every room because you're also going to be leasing some of your suites to estheticians, makeup artists, and lash techs who don't need those pieces of equipment in their room. Four dryers, four wash bowls for 22 suites. That's all you need. Head on over to salonsuitemastercourse.com so we can start learning today. So um, anywhere that you're gonna have a sink or a wash bowl, you should have some type of backsplash back there that will be number one, an easy surface for you to clean, and two, that's gonna protect your walls from getting water damage. Now, if you've got a location where you've got like 22 suites or less, you can probably get away with four wash bowls and four dryers, okay? So we've got four on each side here, and that really suffices us. Um, some of our busier locations, um, it still suffices us as well because every single tenant is not gonna be a stylist that you needs to use the sinks and the dryers. You've got estheticians, you've got makeup artists, you've got lash techs, you've got nail techs. Um, so that's the good beauty of it is that, and that's why I name my business Remedy because it's the remedy to all your beauty needs. So you can come in here, you can get your makeup done, you can get your nails done, you can get your hair done and be ready for the night, right? <laughs> all right, so down here, We've just got our restrooms. Um, and it's so important to make sure that you keep your suites nice and clean, all right? Um, so this is actually our handicap accessible restroom right here. We've got our handicap bars and our sinks that a wheelchair can actually pull up to. Um, so you wanna make sure that you have that so that you can actually pass your inspection. Um, and then right back here, it's just another small restroom. This is generally the restroom for our staff. And then we've also got our stackable washer and dryer here so that we can wash towels and things of that nature. When we first started off, we actually offered towel concierge to our suites. Um, it ended up, to our suite owners, it ended up being somewhat of a headache and it's something that we no longer do now to this day. Um, however, um, it was a service that we wanted to start off with, but you will definitely need a washer and dryer in your suites. Um, so definitely want to keep that in mind. Um, outside of that, you want to make sure that you're using as much of the space as possible. So keep in mind that these are business owners. So there's no need to necessarily have a break room and different things of that nature because they're business owners. So for the most part, they're going to be inside of their suites working versus being um, in any type of communal area, you know, eating and doing things of that nature. So 
Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. And if you're ready to open up your salon suite, head on over to www.salonsuitemastercourse.com. Thank you.